Unit 5, Lesson 1, Example 1. Find the missing measures using the Pythagorean Theorem. I'm looking at this right triangle here, and I notice that I have a side length of 6, a side length of 15, and an unknown side length. This is the perfect setup for Pythagorean Theorem. I just have to identify my hypotenuse. I've highlighted that in green, and I know it's the hypotenuse because it's directly opposite the right angle. The Pythagorean Theorem says in right triangles that the two legs squared and added together is equal to the hypotenuse. That's C. So A squared plus B squared equals C squared is Pythagorean Theorem. It doesn't matter which side is A and B as long as the hypotenuse is C. Substituting for what I know, 15 squared plus 6 squared equals X squared. I'm going into my calculator, 15 squared is 225, 6 squared is 36. Adding 225 and 36 is 261, and so 261 equals x squared. But I don't want x squared, I want x. So I need to undo the square power by taking the square root of both sides. That's going to give me the square root of 261, and, and in order to deal with that, I have to think about the factors of 261. I'm pretty sure 261 is divisible by 3. 3 times something is 261, it's 87. I just used my calculator. And then I look at 87 and I think, hmm, 87, also divisible by 3, my calculator helps me out. And so 261 can be thought of as 3 times 3 times 29. And so when I think about x equaling the square root of 261, I can think of that as the square root of those factors, 3 times 3 times 29. And then I ask myself the question that square root wants to know. Of all the things being multiplied inside of me, what thing showed up twice? These three showed up twice. So I'm going to write that down, and then inside the square root, I write down everything that wasn't those pairs of threes that I pulled out. In this case, 29. Thanks for watching. See you in class.